Okay, Wacast, there was a journal page 7, graphs of exponential and logarithmic parent functions. So let's start by looking at exponential parent functions. All right, first off, you have when x is negative 2, so we need to evaluate it when f is of negative 2. So the function is f of x equals 2 to the x. So we're going to plug in negative 2 in for x and negative 1 in for x and so on. So let's go ahead and do that. So f of negative 2 is 2 to the negative 2 which whenever you have a negative exponent it needs to go into the number so this is actually 1 divided by 2 squared so then that's equal to 1 divided by 4 which is 0 0.25 alright so now it's 2 to the negative 1, which is 1 divided by 2 to the first power, which is 1 half, which equals 0 0.5. All right, and then we have 2 to the 0, which equals, well, that's easy. Anything to the 0 power is 1, so that equals 1. And then that's 2 to the first power which equals 2, and then 2 to the second power equals 4. Now, I just noticed, I don't think it's mathematically wrong to put the parentheses, but now that I think about it, I think it might be just easier to write without the parentheses. So if you like the parentheses, you can keep them. But if you were like me that really didn't like the parentheses, if you want to delete them with me, you can't. All right. So now let's just check this with the graph. So negative 2.25 looks about there. And whenever you're between, you just kind of approximate. You know 0.25 is on the lower end. 0.5 is halfway between. So that's about there. 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4. So these points... So here you have the exponential function, parent function table and graph. You'll notice I said that y equals 0 is the asymptote. Basically, this graph approaches 0 but never touches. Okay? All right. Now, domain is, go, is basically going in a negative infinite direction on the left side and going in the positive infinite side on the right side. So domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, range... We start at 0, but we don't include 0 because it never actually touches 0. And then it's going from 0 to infinity for the range. Okay, And you notice that I've written the interval and inequality notation for domain and range. All right, now let's look at comma ratios. What I mean by comma ratios in the Y is if we do 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.25, you get 2. And then if you do 1 divided by 0 0.5, you get 2. If we do 2 divided by 1, you get 2. And then if we do 4 divided by 2, you get 2. And you can see that the comma ratio in the y is 2. Okay, so go ahead and finish up your exponential function, parent function notes. All right, now let's take a look at the logarithmic parent function. All right, so we have a table, x and then y equals f of x. We have zero, f of zero. Well, when we do that, what we're talking about is the function f of x equals log base 2 of x. So we're going to plug in 0, 1, 2, 4, and 8 in for x. Okay, so then that's log base 2 of 0 equals. Okay, and I'll get into the cal with the calculator um, eventually, but just know that log base 2 of 0 is undefined. OK, 
Okay, and that's where you get the x equals zero asymptote. When you plug in zero in for x, it's undefined. Okay, so that's why you have the zero x equals zero at the asymptote. Okay, now when you have one, you have log base two of one. which is zero. And the way to understand this without a calculator is you basically ask yourself is two to what power let's just call that I'll leave a space here. Two to what power here equals one. Okay, so to answer that, well, 2 to the 0 power equals 1. So that's why log base 2 of 1 equals 0. Okay, so the point is one zero. All right, so now here we have log base 2 of 2 equals. Well, so again, you ask yourself 2 to what power equals 2? Well, 2 to the first power okay, so 2 to the first power equals 2, so log base 2 of 2 equals 1. Okay? So now we have log base 2 of 4. And again, you ask yourself, 2 to what power gives you 4? So 2 to the second power equals 4. So log base 2 of 4 is 2. And then log base 2 of 8 equals. So then you ask yourself, 2 to what power Gives you eight. Well, the answer to that is three. So two to the third power equals eight. So log base two of eight equals three. Okay, let's verify these points. Zero is undefined. One zero, two one, four two, eight three. Okay. Function is f of x equals log base two of x. Domain. You'll see here that it starts at zero, but it doesn't include it. So zero to infinity. And then range, it's going infinitely in the bottom direction and the top direction. So it's negative infinity, positive infinity. And you see here that I've included the interval notation and the inequality notation for domain and range. All right, and the last thing, comma ratios in x. Okay, so comma ratios in x. So let's take a look that, and you, you can't use a zero value, but we can do the, 2 divided by 1. So 2 divided by 1 equals 2. Okay? 4 divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So you can see the common ratios in the x are the same. So we can say there's a common ratio in the x. Okay? So with that, if you would, finish up your notes. And then don't forget, after you're done with the notes, start working on your my.hrw.com assignment for 1.2. That is, whoa, sorry, one of my hats fell. That's what that noise was. Um, all right, so with that, um, and a little bit of noise from one of my hats, just flying off the wall, which is kind of, Interesting. Um, we'll go with that and start working on your my.hrw.com 1.2 assignment and have a wonderful Wildcat day.